Hello, uh, my name is Gary Max, and I work for DragonScripting.com. Um, today we're going to go over an input box uh, and what that does. This command is part of the uh, Fundamentals of Advanced Scripting package that's available on the website DragonScripting.com. Um, it's also part of the playlist that we have on YouTube as well, going over all um, what we believe to be the fundamentals of what the advanced scripting you should know. Um, so today it's just going to be an input box. Um, I'm going to made the command already. Um, what I have written in here is easy way to get information and save it as variable um, within the command. Uh, get information from the variable. Then when you so for complex for so this is a basic version of something I'm calling it the fundamentals to make a more complex version of what we're going to do. You can use dialog boxes. Is basically what I'm saying here. Then let's get into it. Um, right here we have a variable, um, and we're going to make that variable, we're going to put the information that we input on an input box. Basically, it just looks like this. It has a place for us to put information in, to input, and that goes into the command. Um, so that's the input box right there. This is the options of the variable, I mean, sorry, of the input box. Um, the title of it is going to be your name, or the question is, so your name. Uh, this is input box example, so this is the title here. This is the question or the um, the content within the input box, and then this is the default value of what is put in the input box. Uh, we can get rid of any of this so if we were to go back and um, get rid of my name there, and then so that default value is now gone. We can enter in whatever default value we want there. So inside of this, you can also see that there's the input box, and then there's call variable. Um, and then there's these parentheses. And you can see that there's this that separates it out. We don't really need that. That's only that's only signifying to the command that we're skipping or going down to the next line. So basically saying continue on next line. Um, but we don't necessarily need that. We can keep it on one line here. Um, we can put a default back to Garrett. Okay. So now that we have information coming in, very simple way of doing it. Um, just okay, cancel. Um, and then pressing OK will make whatever information that's in that text box it'll belong to I. So if we go here and we go uh, message box I and we see the information that's in there we can see what va uh, what value is in the variable I. So we'll click OK and right now def default is Garrett so I'll click that now the variable I contains the value Garrett and then it's going to use it down here. So we can use this information. The, way, this, the reason why this is useful, a lot of different ways this can be useful, but the very basic way is using an if-then statement um, or a select case, which we've done videos on both of those that are available on YouTube. Um, and you input your information in there, and then you want your command to go somewhere. So it's either going to have to use, you can use a number of things, but you probably can use an if-then statement. Um, so if then, which would go on another thing, or you can use this uh, a case function. But in this, we have um, if then. So if the i if variable i is equal to the string Garrett, then message you work for DragonScripting.com. Else, you do not work for DragonScripting.com. So we're going to put in the information Garrett. It says, oh, okay, that's going to say, oh, this is what's in i, and then it's gonna, the if then statement is going to say you work at DragonScripting.com. If I went in here and I went uh, oh, capitals, Vanessa, uh, okay, and then press OK. It's gonna tell us what it's on or what the variable is, and then it's gonna say you do not work with com because you are not Garrett. You are else, which we'll go over if then else statements and like man. So. Again, basically, this is just an easy way to bring information in to a variable, and then you can use it throughout the command. Um, it's probably the easiest way to do it, to bring information in. You can do um, message boxes to do OK and cancel if you just want like a true or false. Um, and that's an, Or to relay information just for message box, boxes. Input boxes is the easiest way to bring information in. It's only for one variable, though. Um, and then in our uh, dialog boxes are the advanced way of doing this and it'll give you, you can create full forms and uh, sky's the limit with dialog boxes. Um, but this is very simple to use. It's one line. You don't have to worry about very much. 
uh, it keeps it real compact and nice looking where dialog boxes are going to be like 10, 15, 20 plus lines. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, please give us feedback or like on the video if you'd like it. It's educational. Um, also visit uh, the website dragonscripting.com uh, for more commands and more tutorial videos that are not on YouTube. Um, we also have a mailing list uh, that you can sign up for either on uh, Facebook or on the website dragonscripting.com. It's got a link to um, our LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook that aren't really that much used, but they're there. Um, but the mailing list it will give we, we put out a lot of uh, products all the time. A mailing list to keep you up to date. We don't share it with anybody else. Just keep it to send you stuff based on us. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. You have a good night.